So MS can affect anybody, any age from the very young to the very old, either gender, and different races and ethnicities. And there seem to be different risks attributable to each of those different subpopulations. And the disease course is sometimes different across all of those subpopulations. There are lots of questions we still need to answer about why MS is more prevalent in certain groups as compared to others, and why it behaves differently in those groups. And it's only when our clinical trials are inclusive and include everybody, including minorities, that we'll be able to address some of these questions about why things are different across different groups. Most of my patients and patients in our clinics are involved in research, but they often have questions like, is this an experimental treatment? Am I going to be experimented on? And I think it's important to convey that this is not an experiment about something that we know nothing about. It's usually something we know something about. We just don't know, for instance, which of two treatments might be better in certain age groups or in certain populations. And so they need to be evaluated. And the only way we can figure out which is better for you or for the next person is to study these things rigorously through standardized clinical trials. And that's why it's important to conduct these clinical trials so that we can compare in a really rigorous, scientific manner, one treatment versus another, for instance, to figure out which works best. It's only then that we can make lives better for people with MS. For patients who are wanting to know how to get enrolled in research studies, including clinical trials, a great resource is the local or national MS Society. There are websites and phone numbers to call or to look at to find out more.